November 28th, 2020. It is currently two minutes past the nine o'clock hour. It is the third installment of the Saturday night special. It's Saturday night. And we all know that that differs from the Monday, Wednesday, and Friday episodes. Here on Saturday, we like to do things uh, a little different. We like to buck convention. We like to break the mold. We like to get jiggy with it on Saturdays. And in previous iterations of the Saturday Night Special, what have we done? Well, we've had ourselves a bit of a birthday party celebrating yours truly. Well, tonight, we're going to do the same thing for someone even more special than me. Tonight, we're celebrating someone that's taller than me, someone that is more successful than me in a variety of ways, including professionally, including romantically, including uh, that might be it. Tonight, we celebrate the life, times, and of course, the birthday of Dave Kaufman. I am James, you are you, we are here for At Home with James. If you're in the chat watching, thank you so much for liking, subscribing, following this, that, and the other for this very special edition of the show that has not only captured my heart, your heart, but tonight's guest of honor. Months and months ago, I was sitting on my couch and I had an epiphany. There's a global pandemic running wild. Strange days are ahead. How am I going to keep myself busy? I'm going to launch an online show. And little did I know that when I picked up the phone and I called a man by the name of Dave Kaufman to be a guest, that he would do such an incredibly terrible job on the first episode that I absolutely needed to have him back the next night to redeem himself. And not only did he redeem himself, he blew the door wide open. And he became not only a regular contributor, but what I like to believe is a co-conspirator of this show. Sometimes once the show's over, I give him a call. We do a little breakdown. Well, not so much anymore now that he has a kid. But this goes to show how important Dave Kaufman is to this show. He had a child in the month of uh, June. He took one week off and then he was back in the saddle, just like Aerosmith. Steven Tyler, Joe Perry, Dave Kaufman. If this was a game of Tribond, you'd have to say, members of Aerosmith? No, 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 no. Three men who were back in the saddle. And that's who we are going to be celebrating tonight. So without any further ado, let's welcome a guy who has made you laugh, me laugh. He's teched the show. Hell, tonight he's, uh, he's going to be reaching a new feat. In this show, he's co-hosting the show, something that he's been uh, complaining about wanting to do for quite a while. And tonight, I'm giving him that gift. Let's welcome the man of the hour, too sweet to be sour, funky like a monkey, Dave Kaufman. Dave. Hello, James. How are you? (laughs) Like this music, Dave? It's all right. It's a birthday song, I think. Oh, yeah. It's a copyright song, I think. No, we did some uh, we, we did some digging. The happy birthday song is public domain. Is it? I thought it was owned by someone. No, it's public domain. What are you drinking over there tonight, Dave? I'm drinking uh, birthday booze. Uh, soda water. Oh, I thought you were having some birthday booze. No, no, no booze for me today. All right. You're saying... Uh, you're staying a little uh, sober for your, uh, in fairness, tomorrow is your real birthday, but tonight we're really celebrating. Um, one of the later guests in the show is posting in the internal chat that uh, Michael Jackson owns the birthday song. Well, in fairness, he wrote Even- MJ, so it could be anyone. It could be Michael Jordan. That's true. Yep. Well, I guess that's all <laughs> the MJs we know. Dave, how do you feel about tonight's episode? I'm a little nervous, to be honest. I don't like uh, having uh, the spotlight on me. Yeah, which is weird because uh, sometimes you kind of, uh, maybe in your mind, covertly skirt around the idea that one night you co-host. Right, but if I were to co-host one night, 
which I do a great job at. I agree. Uh, <laughs> I, do you? Well, I'm allowing it tonight, aren't I? That's true. It wouldn't, the show's focus wouldn't be on me. It would be on whatever the show was. Oh, look, the show's focus is on me every night. Exactly. I don't have that kind of ego or hubris to think that people would want to, uh, I don't know, watch a show at home with Dave, say. Yeah. Three nights a week. Well, four nights a week this week. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Four nights a week this week. <laughs> well, Dave, here, you know what? Since you think you do such a great job, I'd like to see how you would do an intro for the show. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, everybody. Uh, welcome to At Home with Jim. Oh, sorry, I now, missed Dave, my cue. Dave, you have cue. to wait for the music. <laughs> I missed my cue. I didn't know. Yeah, a little, uh, a little, a little. A li- maybe I could pass on a bit of knowledge. You're gonna want to, you know, wait for the song. Sorry, who, what you're listening to right now is my first guest uh, speak. Uh, this is James McGee, who's uh, talking before he was introduced onto the At Home with Dave show. So, uh, well, Dave, you're not doing a great job of hosting. You're getting a little rattled. I wouldn't say I'm rattled, James. I would say I'm right in the pocket of being a great host. Right. Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, it is uh, Saturday, November 28th, uh, 9.09 p.m. on the radio dial. <laughs> uh, <laughs> our first guest is none other than uh, the man you know and love, uh, James McGee. James, how are you today? Okay, so that was kind of uh, a combination of my intro but also a radio DJ. You said 909 on the radio <laughs> dial. Yeah. Yeah, I would see. I think that there's something we might be able to do a spin off of this show, an audio version of At Home, but it's At Home with Dave and it's a kind of a radio type of gimmick. Yeah, all right. All right, great. Now that we've gotten <laughs> that out of the way, Dave, you mentioned that you're nervous tonight. Uh, there's a lot of surprises. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Yeah. What's the worst that might happen tonight? I don't know, I'd be embarrassed. Well, I don't think you're going to be embarrassed. It's going to be a lot of people uh, paying attention to me, and by a lot, I mean uh, 10, including myself. <laughs> yep, yeah. Well, you know what? Uh, this is why we've uh, phased out the Saturday shows. People, you know, <laughs> they've got better things to do on Saturday nights, like watch movies with their significant others or uh, go into their bedroom and self-gratify. Sure, yeah. Snuggling on the couch, maybe, with a pet. Yeah, snuggling on the couch with a pet. But for those of us who are watching tonight, we are here in unison for you. And I think that we should no longer waste any more time. I want to celebrate, as I mentioned off the top, the life and times of Dave Kaufman. So what we're going to do right now is go through the annals of time and celebrate not only the man that you are, but the man that you were from 5, 10, even 15 years ago. Dave, are you ready? Are you ready to take a trip down memory lane and enjoy some of your first forays into comedy with what I think is some of your funniest Facebook statuses from over the years? Oh, God. So what we're going to be doing... You're not going to get me canceled, are you, James? No, I I left the controversial ones uh, on your page for everyone to see. Okay. So if you want to see those, just add Dave Kaufman on uh, Facebook. Mm Mm-hmm. But I've collected, I think, the funniest ones. And on Twitch right now, if you're locked and loaded, you're going to be able to see some of these hilarious statuses. But in addition to hilarious statuses, there's also a lot of hot takes. Yeah, I'm very controversial. You are very controversial. So let's let's full, pull the first one up. Now, this one I think is really funny. It, it was written on June 18th, 2009, Dave Kaufman is harder to impress than Shania Twain. Yeah. So this is a bit of a take on. Yeah, this is a bit of a take on that don't impress me much. Sure, we all know the hit Shania Twain song, uh, That Don't Impress Me Much. But for those of us who don't, what does that sound like, Dave? Um, Well, I'm sure you can uh, tune into YouTube or uh, Spotify or whatever your favorite streaming service is and uh, give it a listen. Okay, so me throwing to you to let us know what it sounds like led to you throwing to YouTube. You want me to sing the song, James? Well, yeah, I thought the implication was pretty clear. That don't impress me much. Uh, uh, uh. Go on. Well, there's depends which verse you want. (laughs) Okay, yeah, I guess so. So you know all of them. 
I know the the general themes of each verse. You know, the, yeah. So, what are the general <laughs> themes of the, each verse? Uh, there's one uh, about a guy who thinks he's so smart, but his intelligence doesn't impress Shania Twain. Well, it doesn't sound like that guy would impress you very much either, because <laughs> no. on June 18th of 2009, apparently you were harder to impress than Shania Twain. So That's even if right. you might have the look and you might have the touch. I'm not even sure Dave might think you're all right. No. All right. Well, let's let's move on to our next Facebook status. This comes even earlier from September 10th, 2007. Dave Kaufman hey. laundering his laundry. So this is a fun play on words. Sure. So most people would say laundering money or uh, yeah, well, money mostly. Mm -hmm. uh, but you see. Uh, you can also launder uh, laundry, which is yeah, where the original word comes from. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how would how would you go about doing that? You'd put your laundry in a washing machine, or if you didn't have a washing machine, you'd do it by hand in the sink. All right, great. So let's move on to our next status. This one comes to us on October 19th, 2006. This is a funny one. Dave Kaufman now playing in theaters everywhere. <laughs> So kind of like you've been released to the... That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you think that holds up? Yeah, I think that holds up. How confident are you in that? Um, well, I was impressed by it. <laughs> okay, I, so are it. you confident enough that right now... And I'm now, pretty hard to impress, James. Oh, well, apparently, <laughs> would you be willing to make that your Facebook status right now? Uh, sure, I'm, I'm set to private. Uh but uh, yeah, I could do that. Yeah, yeah. So so anyone who's friends with Dave Coffin, we're going to see how much he believes in this joke. And then maybe on Monday, we're going to check in to see how many likes this gets. I'm on private, though, so it's... Uh... Yeah, but your Facebook friends are going to see it. Let's, we'll see. We'll see if your Facebook friends see it. Well, okay. while Dave does that, we're going to move on to our next Facebook status. This is more of a hot take. It comes to us on March 7th, 2009. Dave Kaufman thought Watchmen was pretty damn good. Yeah. <laughs> Do you stand by that? Uh, no, I wouldn't stand by that one. Actually, the first time uh, I saw it, I was had to sit in the front row. Okay. And uh, if you recall that movie, which I'm sure you do, uh, there's a uh, giant demigod type character who's blue and uh he had a giant uh hog in the movie yeah and uh, it was right in my right in my face but at the time you thought it was quote pretty damn good yeah i liked it now there's a lot of like attitude behind this it almost seems that you're throwing this into the because i recall people not liking this movie and it, this feels like a direct shot towards those people do people not like uh the Watchmen movie that's what i remember but you well, know opinions vary yeah, it, I liked it. It but, was good. I, apparently, the show's pretty good. I haven't watched that. Now, now, do yeah, you like you the movie that? enough to commit to watching it over the weekend and giving <laughs> us a full review next week? Sure, yeah. I'll watch the movie over the weekend. I'll spend my birthday <laughs> watching the well, movie. Well, why not? I know that I love experiencing things on my birthday that I think are pretty damn good. You're right. Yeah, there you go. Let's move on to our next <laughs> Facebook status. Now, this one was almost an omen. It almost seems like you're a bit of a Nostradamus. On Ju January, excuse me, 30th, 2010, going into lockdown. Yeah, that was uh, <laughs> that was in direct reference to what I believed would tear the world apart uh, 10 years later. <laughs> Okay, so you were pre-preparing for, for COVID, yeah, for for a uh, a plague-like crises. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A bit of a prepper. Yeah, a bit of a prepper. And what did you do in in terms of preparation? You know, snacks, food, rented some movies. <laughs> yeah, was it The Watchmen? Yeah, probably. It was The Watchmen. Okay, we're gonna move on to our next one. Now, this one shows that you've always been interested in improving your comedic skills and abilities. From November 16th, 06, needing to work on his British accent. Yeah. Well, how much work do you feel like you've done? Uh, I have a terrible uh, British accent, so not enough, clearly. So do you think it's better now or before or equal, equal and the same? I think it's equally bad. I, have a, I don't have an ear for voices. 
Well, let's let's put it to the test. So if I were to sure. give you a line of dialogue, Dave, would you be comfortable in giving us a British accent? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, so I want for you to repeat after me, hey, this vending machine is out of chips. Boy. Or I guess you would say crisps. Do <laughs> you want me to say that? <laughs> yeah, do that whole thing. Hey, this vending machine is out of chips. Or I guess I should say crisps. Oi, well, I guess this vending machine is out of chips. Or I guess you would say crisps. So that sounds like a guy pretending to be British and he's at a vending machine and catches his inaccuracies. Well, I mean, it was the dialogue was written by yours truly. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Let's move on to our next Facebook status from on, December I'm just pour 29th. Pour myself some more soda water. Please do. December 29th, 2009, so right before you went into lockdown, you say as follows, got my IMAX avatar tickets for tomorrow. Just letting people know. Yeah. Well, I mean, I want to go see that movie. And uh, as you remember, uh, that was one of the highest grossing films, if not the highest grossing film of all time. And I contributed Mm -hmm. a little piece of money to that pie. And I went to go see Avatar and uh, it wasn't very good. I don't think you will see uh, Avatar was uh, pretty good status after that. I didn't pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Okay, so so Um, you're not going to be seeing the sequel. But what's interesting, yeah, there's a there is uh, several sequels mm-hmm. coming out uh, over a decade later, and uh, we'll see if they uh, we'll see if they do as well as the first one. All right, so we're going to move on to your next status update from the 9th of October, two thousand and six. This one's a fun play, a joke on a '90s hit song. David Kaufman thinking he is really Jimmy Ray. <laughs> That's pretty. This good. one really cracked you up. So so this one is a play on. Uh, Jimmy Ray, the mm-hmm. song. Uh, are you Jimmy Ray? Yeah, are you Jimmy Ray? Mm-hmm. Who wants to know? Yeah, great, great tune. Yeah, great tune, great '90s one-hit wonder. So this one really mm-hmm. cracked you up. What is it about this one that made you laugh more than all of the others? Well, it's just very clear that I'm not Jimmy Ray. Yeah. So to to make I, I find uh, musing on the fact that I might be him. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sort of amusing, I guess. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I, I agree with that. You are a funny guy. Let's move on to the James, next. James. Uh, yep. Are you Jimmy Ray? Well, opinions vary. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say who wants to know. Yeah, that would have been the better answer. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That really would have been the better answer. Let's move on to our next one. So this is a great one because the holidays are are in full swing. November twenty seventh, oh six. Booby trapping uh, his apartment like a badass Macaulay Culkin on Christmas Eve. Yeah, it was 14 years ago yesterday. I know because I got a uh, uh, on this day notification about that status. Now, what's and I mentioned this when we were speaking. What's interesting to me is your spelling of the word booby, B-O-O-B-Y. How do you spell a booby when in reference to a booby trap? I would spell it B-O-O-B-I-E. Let me see. So we're getting the official confirmation in a matter of moments. No, I'm I'm uh the first thing on Wikipedia, booby trap, B-O-O-B-Y. Okay, now if we're talking about it in regards to a breast, would it be the same thing, do you think? Uh, no, I believe that would be IE, but of course okay, you so, wouldn't uh, place breast traps all over one's apartment now, well, would you, James? <laughs> you might, you might, Dave Kaufman. Let's Me. move on to our next status. We're winding down here, Dave. So this one's from the 27th of September, 2006. David Kaufman going to get takeout. He's bringing supper back. So another fun music-based <laughs> joke. This one's this one's in uh, in relation to bringing sexy back the Justin Timberlake song. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a play on words. Yeah, it's a play on words. Yeah. Now. Yeah. At, what do you now, think of it, James? I mean, I don't like it, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't what I impress think. you much. <laughs> no, it doesn't impress me much. I'm very similar to you that it takes more to impress me. Now, sure. here's a question. Do you do now? You... What if? What if? I have a question for you first. I'm interrupting yeah. you because it's again. I'm co-hosting the show. That's true. Uh, if you heard that joke, put yourself. Uh, I don't know. T- uh, Ten years earlier, and you hear that joke. Does it impress you then? 
if you just hear the Justin Timberlake song and then yeah. haven't heard any jokes related to it, you, you, you turn on your computer, takes a couple of minutes to boot because computers were slower back then, mm -hmm. and uh, launch Facebook. And uh, you, see, uh, you see one of your friends posting that joke. You know what would really put it over the edge for me is if I knew what the food was. Do you remember what you ordered? Um, pizza. It's hilarious. <laughs> Let's move on to our next Facebook status from January 29th, 2007. Dave Kaufman, not your baby daddy. <laughs> so you're letting everyone know that you are, in fact, not their father. No, I'm not their baby's father. Well, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I guess I'm not I'm not hip to the slang. Now, my curiosity is, were you watching an episode of the Maury Povich show when you posted this? It's possible. I used to enjoy uh, Jerry Springer, your Maury Povich's, your uh, Phil Donahue's. Yeah. You know, the whole, uh, that whole. Well, Phil Donahue was many years prior to Maury and Jerry Springer. Sure, yeah. Your uh, Mort, uh... What's his name? Morton. Uh, Morton Downey Jr. Morton Downey Mort, Jr. Yeah, otherwise known as Mort. Mort. Now, yeah. Dave, we have one more, but I want to let our audience know, if you're watching and you're sitting with any children right now, this next one is quite the expletive. It's got adult themes. And you know what? It's very forthcoming. I, I'm thinking that you were probably a little thirsty when you posted this one, Dave. So this um, one was posted on May 4th, 2008. Here we go. David Kaufman is jerking it. <laughs> you know what that is, I think? Please. It's not a self-admission of masturbation, if that's what you were going for. Well, I that's think certainly that's, what it looks like. I think that is a classic. Uh, you left your Facebook open on a computer, and one of your friends uh, accesses your Facebook and decides to post a gag status. Yeah, of course, but don't you think that's what someone who was horny posting online would say 15 years later? I mean, it's possible. It's let's possible. let's be honest. honest. At that time, where were you doing most of your masturbating? Probably in front of the computer. Um, let me think about that. I had a desktop, so I don't, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> okay, well, the jury's out on that, but Dave, that's... Your comedy and hot takes through the years. I mean, I'd say all of those statuses hold up pretty well. Except for the Watchmen being pretty damn good, which you said you don't believe anymore. That's true. But I haven't seen it. I'll, I'll, I'll post an update about it. Well, you are uh, going to be watching it over the weekend. <laughs> I'm going to be watching it over the weekend. So, Well, Dave, are you ready to meet your first birthday buddy of the night? <laughs> yeah. Great. So we're going to welcome our first guest. I have known this guy for nine years, and he didn't even come to my birthday episode, but I suspect he wasn't invited. So <laughs> I don't know who I'm going to blame for that. But it goes to show what you mean to this guy. Our first guest of the evening is a real legend of the Canadian improv games. Let's welcome Mark Rowland to the show. Mark, oh how's it going, God. buddy? Good, good. How you guys doing? I'm doing great. Doing great. Thank you, you for uh, thank you for joining us. Yeah, uh, my pleasure. I'm very excited. Excited to be here. I'm I'm thankful. I'm happy. Same. Good, Dave. Uh, I wrote you some stuff. I wrote you some stuff, so I wanted to read to you some of my writings. Well, Mark, okay. I want to I want to jump in right now. I know you're yeah. excited, but I know that you also prepared a special gift for Dave. Oh, you want to you want to do that now? Yeah, yeah. D don't. Uh, I, I want you to have as much time to prepare on your second gift as much as possible. So right now, special thanks to Dimitri Kiras, who's working the booth tonight. Dave, Mark has prepared a very special birthday video for you. So if you'll turn your attention, uh, this video is going to be playing any moment now, and this is a special gift from Mark. Hey Dave, happy birthday. Keep on rocking, dude.
Mark, thanks so much for that special video. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, that was I, I was really proud of that. I was I really wanted you to see it. Yeah. What's your uh, what's your cameo fee, Mark? <laughs> It's it's not that much. It's basically no. zero zero dollars. Yeah. <laughs> well, I really the trick is that. it's only zero dollars if you cap it at nine seconds. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Mark, you got something else planned for Dave. So why don't you take it away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So Dave, let me start with this. I got a limerick for you. Oh. These are all things I wrote for you today. Limerick. There once was a guy named Dave who lived in a faraway cave. It was his birthday one day. We wanted to say each year is a set step to the grave. It's a limerick for you. <laughs> An acrostic, David. Drugs are very inviting, dude. A haiku. <laughs> Hold on, can calls. I appreciate? <laughs> Mark, you you're really, the, Mark, I know you're, you're nervous and you want to. I'm not. Mark, I know I you're nervous and you want to. I was going to. I got to. I look. I got to reel this in. I'm, no, Mark. Just hold on now. Relax for a second. I know you're okay. excited. You want me to start over? A limerick. No. Yeah. I. I think that I would appreciate hearing the limerick again. You got. You got to let Dave. You got to let Dave appreciate it. Let's okay. hear the limerick. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. A limerick. There once was a guy named Dave who lived in a faraway cave. It was his birthday one day, and we wanted to say. Each year is a step to the grave. <laughs> so what? Um, <laughs> what's uh, what's the significance of the cave? Is that like uh, well, because you, you you the Dave cave. cave. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh, Let's move on, sorry. Mark. No, 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 to the next one. Birthday. <laughs> It represents, uh, you know, uh, anyway, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a metaphor. Okay. I re Mark, I really liked it. All right. I good. liked it too. Nice. It David, makes you think. David, drugs are very inviting, dude. Okay. D-A-V-I-D. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's an acrostic poem. <laughs> Thank you. Do you have any questions about the uh, meaning of it? I'm just like, I just, uh, no, I mean, drugs are very inviting. I'm not a huge uh, doer of drugs um, yeah. other than, you know, caffeine, alcohol, and the occasional marijuana, but. Uh, That's a lot of drugs. Now, Mark, <laughs> yeah, now, Mark what, what was that called? An acrostic? An acrostic poem, yeah. Yeah, can you read it one more time? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have a lot more. Oh, drugs great, yeah, yeah, great. are very inviting, dude. Mm-hmm. Am I the dude? Uh, whoever I'm talking to, which is you. <laughs> okay. Great. Let's continue, Mark. A haiku. Remember, it's uh. Well, I went for the 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 version that's five seven five. So that's traditional. Although sometimes you could do two stresses, three stresses, two stresses. I'm doing five seven five. I know the traditional five seven five haiku. Yeah. Zoom calls through the day. Candles on cake extinguish fucking pandemic <laughs> that's supposed to be your birthday tomorrow yeah i want to jump yeah. in right now and welcome anyone who might be tuning in this is at home with james dave coffin's <laughs> birthday bash we are numbers are pretty good right now viewership <laughs> is strong and i fear that it will tank shortly mark let's continue with more of your fun birthday haikus okay david an acrostic drop a voluminous interesting dump I, I do, uh, much like most people, I do occasionally drop a voluminous. <laughs> yeah, I'd be, be, be proud of it. I am. Yeah. yeah. I'm, you know, I'm just a person, just like everybody else. I eat. Uh, here's oh, a shit. poem I wrote in iambic pentameter. I was inspired by Shakespeare. Oh, I've heard of it. Yeah. It, it's, not, it's not perfect, but, uh, you know, I did my best. As if Shakespeare it, would say, before yeah. his plays. Yeah, yeah. If a candle could, it would do speak to us in the fleeting fiery finale of light to tell us though its time with us was slight, its death was not at all superfluous. That's about Dave? Good. Yeah, that was for you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Thank you, Dave. I am a pentameter. It's not easy to uh, prose in. 
Well, that uh, that wasn't prose. That was poetry. You're right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> James, how are you doing right now? Desperately hoping our audience sticks around. <laughs> okay, Dave, I've got something. This is going to take a while. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do a Mad Lib. I don't know if it's going to work. Let's go for right. it. Okay. Give me a noun. Uh, desk. <laughs> Give me an adjective. Uh, uh, large. Okay, and another noun. Uh, clog. <laughs> okay. Uh, give me like an exclamation, like sounds. Uh, huzzah. Good. Uh, activity. Uh, streaming. St like streaming or screaming? Streaming. Like what we're doing right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Online. Yeah. Give me a job, please, an occupation. Uh, professional poker player. Take your time. Okay. Yeah, I'm not, I'm trying not to. Uh, give me another activity. Uh, uh, smoking meth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. I'm glad there's a, uh, give me a, um, a location. Uh, a depender. Yeah. I'm gonna shorten it to depth. Uh, give me a large object. Sure. A, uh, a bowling ball. James, checking in. If you're just tuning in, we do this show every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, at nine o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on twitch.tv slash at home with James. So if you're liking what you're seeing, come back on Monday, over one day in between shows. You're tuned in live right now on Twitch. Of course, this is Dave Coffin's birthday bash. I am James. This is Dave. And Mark is really filling the time. I'm almost, I'm almost done. Give me a, ne uh, a negative emotion. Boredom. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. Uh, give me a, like a, a, a plural noun. Uh, birds. Yep. And one more. Uh fingernails yeah uh, okay give me a name uh shania yeah good and uh how about a, like a, a verb in the past tense uh pooped oh yeah we're almost done you said that a while and ago <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me like give me like a, some slang. And then dog. Yeah. <laughs> and then lastly an improv game. Uh yes, let's. <laughs> yes, let's. Okay, good. All right, here we go. I think I did it all. And hopefully I didn't miss one. Okay, Dave. Once upon yeah. a desk there was a one are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready, yeah. Here's, here's your story. Once upon a desk, there was a large clog named Dave. It was his birthday. Huzzah! Dave really wanted to stream on his birthday, but couldn't because his friend, the pro poker player, uh, his friend, the pro, pro poker player, would rather smoke meth instead. They met up at the depth to start the birthday activities under a bowling ball, but Dave was bored. He broke birds and smashed fingernails because he didn't want to smoke meth. His friend, the poker player, whose name incidentally was Shania, was upset and pooped in frustration. Dave realized that he was being a dog, which is cool slang for being a bad friend. <laughs> he made up for his behavior by joining Shania in the game of Yes, Let's, their favorite, favorite game together, and they lived happily ever after. Huzzah! That was wow. pretty funny. That was, you know what? I was pretty worried there for about 15 minutes. <laughs> but an acrostic poem funny. 
David. <laughs> Wait, there's another? James, stop talking, Mark announced. <laughs> there's an acrostic poem. Yeah, neither you or me, Dave, are hosting this show anymore. No. David. It's sort of like intermittent high school PA announcements. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Mark, go on. David, don't allow vicious improv dominators. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you've got a new mandate, bro. Okay, those are all my poems and writings for today. Dave, is there anyone you want me to read to you again? <laughs> uh, I'd read like the me. last one one more time. <laughs> okay, David, don't allow vicious improv dominators. What was that first one again? Uh, the limerick? That was the first one. Yeah, limerick what, was, what the were those first... called again, Mark? Acrostic poems? Yeah, yeah, what was the first acrostic poem? Drugs are very inviting, dude. Great. Right. Mark, before we let you go, you're going to be back over the next couple of weeks to let the audience and the viewers know how they can have a safe and budget-friendly Christmas. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Mark, do you have any tips for a uh, budget-friendly birthday for me? Or am I putting you on the spot? <laughs> oh, you're doing it. This oh, yeah, it. this is a budget-friendly <laughs> birthday. Yeah, you're not spending any money. You're a guest on a show that you work on regularly. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, that was quick thinking. Hey, thanks so much for being here, and I hope that you have a great rest of the night celebrating Dave's birthday, not only with yourself, but along with us. Mm. Thank you so much, Mark. I great. really, that You're was... very talented. Mark Rowland, Canadian improv game legend. Dave, have you ever received that type of birthday gift over uh, over your 35 years sort of a rapid fire of high school teacher poetry yeah yeah a no, rapid I've fire never. of high school teacher poetry which otherwise is known as mark's new recurring segment <laughs> yeah i've never received anything quite like that before and, i've never uh, even heard of some of those words oh like what acrostic acrostic no it sounds like a form of fitness it does sound like a form of fitness but i uh I do have an English degree, so I have heard of the acrostic poem before. Dave, let's cut the crap for a second. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's your birthday, and Mark was just here doing something really special for you. He prepared something special, but he's not the only one that prepared something special for you. Now, I have been oh. advertising all week long special guests. Now, we are about to throw to another video greeting from a couple people that you know very well. In fact, you used to live with them. That's right. I'm talking about your mom and dad. <laughs> okay. Let's oh, throw no. to your parents. Do you remember David's valedictory speech? Yeah, I do. I remember when he uh, wrote out the speech and we were a little bit concerned about how he was uh, representing the teachers. Yeah, he was going to diss them good, eh? <laughs> that was funny. He was, he was. He, but... You know, it was the beginning of his career in uh, writing, I think, because it was quite the speech. Um, and uh, he yeah. managed to tone it down a little bit, but, uh, and the uh, vice principal said, go with it, and uh, so yeah. did the guidance counselor. And so he stood up there and uh, talked about all his days at uh, Royalville, and it was really, really something. And the geek, he turned his future into being able to do humor. Yes, well, Quite they amazing. had a great sense of humor. <laughs> right. He did it, and this time, we were a little worried, but uh, he came through in the clutch, and uh, he basically got a standing ovation for that speech. Yeah, and we were quite proud of him, in spite of the feedback we got. <laughs> well, there were some people who stood up and clapped and wanted copies of his speech, and other people who said to me, well, that was quite the valedictory speech your son gave that today. <laughs> right. Okay, well, anyway, that's... Uh, <laughs> A little bit of David in uh, a brief moment. A little bit of David <laughs> wow. in a brief moment. Um, now, I learned something from that video, Dave. You were your high school's valedictorian, and it sounds like you put together a bit of a controversial speech. Yeah, I put the, uh, I put the school on blast a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um you know, uh, I, uh, I spoke truth to power, as mm -hmm. they say. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It was a, it was a fun time. People liked it. Uh, I will give a little note to my mom and dad that they can shoot in, uh, 
uh, the widescreen mode and not yep. <laughs> give a... But in fairness, a lot of people make this mistake, Dave. Now, I can't believe that your mom and dad took the time to put that video together and you haven't, you didn't even say thank you. All you did was note how they filmed the video. Well, I, I, I was thinking, thank you. I, uh, I do very much appreciate it. Mom and dad, if yeah. you're watching right now. Oh, they're not. I think my mom might be actually. Oh, well, that's great. That's great. Now, now it really did set a pathway for a future of you in humor. I know. Yeah. So Dave, can I ask you what's what's one of your favorite characters that you play on this show? Oh, it's gonna go back to you. Um, let's see. Back to me. Know. I'm celebrating your great work. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, let's say uh, uh, Jack, my nephew. Yeah. Great. Let's move on to our next <laughs> guest. He is. There's no Not only a regular contributor. Well, you didn't give me a lot to work with, for Christ's sake. <laughs> We're going to move on to our next guest. He is teching tonight's show. Let's welcome the one and only Dimitri Kirez, because he's got some birthday wishes for you. Dimitri, how's it going, buddy? Hey, hey, how's it going, guys? Am I coming in loud and clear, thanks? You're coming in loud and clear. Anything you want to say to Dave tonight? Dave, happy birthday, buddy. I, uh, Thank I'm you. teching the show right now. Things have been going pretty smooth. That That video from your mom and dad is awesome. And uh, I was really happy to put it up. And uh, yeah, I'm just happy to happy to be here. And honestly, I just want to tell you, thanks so much for, you know, teaching me the ropes, showing me that anybody could do this job, uh, you know, like me, some guy off the street. And uh, it's given me a platform where I can play my music and yeah, make my dreams come true. And it all starts with you, man. So happy birthday and thank you. Hey, Dimitri, you had it in you the whole time. And I had nothing to do with it. Stop it. Don't say I that. just gave you the tools, you know, and you you built the house. Thanks, man. I, I appreciate that a lot. And uh, I want you to know that everybody here in the tech booth, uh, Brendan and uh, Carlisle and Steven and Vanessa and Amy and uh, and, and even even Steve uh, is back here. And we're all we're all if they could, they would wish you a happy birthday, too. Well, well I appreciate that. It, and, it's uh, not the only person celebrating a birthday today. No, that's not true. Yeah, that's true. There's somebody else uh, celebrating a birthday today. Dave, too. did you know that you share a birthday with Anna Nicole Smith? Oh, really? Yeah. Now, now I don't <laughs> want to make this just about Dave, so I'd like to say a couple things about Anna Nicole Smith. Anna Nicole Smith was one of those Playboy playmates whose personal lives gained more attention than their professional achievements. She made headlines at the age of 27 when she married the 89-year-old J. Howard Marshall. Despite denying media speculation that she married him for his money, she was involved in a legal battle over his property even after his death. She died of a drug overdose at the age of 39. Yeah. Wow. Happy birthday, Anna Nicole. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Well, to lighten up the mood a little bit here, um, <clears throat> I... Uh, what? That was pretty light. Oh, well, to lighten up, let's elevate it even more, uh, Dave, but I, I, uh, I had some free time when I wasn't teching the show, and I decided to head into the studio, and I whipped up just like a little happy birthday video for you, just to show how much I care, how much everybody here in the booth, in the studio really cares, uh, and I'd love to share it with you if I can, if you'd Please, allow yeah. me. So let's, and let's... Uh, say hi to the whole team for me. Oh, roger that. Uh, I hope you like it, man. Great. Let's throw to the gift. Oh. Let me restart it because it was it was muted. Huh. Of course, Classic I would have boner. a boner on my own uh, on my own segment here. Okay. <sighs> Happy birthday, David, the son of the ungodly one. Happy birthday, one step closer to meeting your God. Happy birthday. Blow up the candles one by one. Happy birthday, son of the ungodly Lucifer's son. He's the king. Watch him take his throne. He's the king of the kings. Look how he's grown. He'll take all the bad shit and push it over to the sea. Look into his eyes. He'll make you bleed. Happy birthday, Dave! So, uh, yeah. 
Just wow. Something whipped it up. I don't know. Maybe that, that was you. That was me. That was me singing. Wow. I thought it was the, the uh, Prince of oh. Darkness, Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> Dimitri, you really have found a way to become one of the most versatile musical performers in this city. Thanks. Well, you know, you got got Arcade Fire, Sam Roberts, and you. And me. And me coming Grimes. in third. Grimes. Who's that? Uh, married to Elon Musk, a musician. Elon Musk is a musician, too? Mother no, of he uh, married. C3PO. He married uh, Grimes, a Montreal musician, and they just had a child. Yeah. But Look, I, well, with... I want to talk about a reference I do understand. And was that a McGruff the Crime Dog monster truck in that video? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's live footage. I went down there to take a, take some footage of that because that's because I, you know, got to make sure it's not copyright, obviously. So I made sure to go out there and yeah, it was. Did yeah, you help so take a bite out of crime. <gasps> yeah. Sick. Well, well, Dimitri, you touched on it just a moment ago. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention it. You became a, a technician on this show with the help of Dave. Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't have done it without Dave. I know. I remember the day he called me up too. It was just like any other day. I was doing yep. uh, my, you know, my work, my business. I had a life, and then he called me up and he says, "Hey, do you want to be the third tech on this uh, on this show called At Home with James?" And uh, I said yes immediately. I said yes, and then uh, <laughs> I was high on mushrooms. I was high on mushrooms the whole time he was talking to me. Uh, and Dur explaining during me the, the show. training session, you were high on mushrooms? <laughs> yeah, I was. I yeah, really Dave, was. did you know this? I did, yeah. <laughs> I really now, did. what was that like for you from a teacher's perspective to be teaching someone high out of their mind on drugs? Well, you know, um, if this was a hard science, I'd be a little remiss to teach someone who was high on mushrooms. But since this is an art and, you know, uh, mushrooms allow the human brain so i've heard to uh express itself in creative ways i thought this is an opportunity mm -hmm. oh, yeah and it, and it and it stuck james i uh i made sure to listen to every word every digit every sentence he was you know he was making and i i made sure to write it all down in my brain and, and now day, look at him you know only one or two uh blunders or foibles a night well can i tell you something about drugs Go ahead. Drugs are very inviting, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What was the name of those things again? Acrylimic? No. <laughs> Try Across again. There. Try again. Oh. Acrinosiac? Acrostic. Acrostic. Yeah, there I can't. Uh, so just like Dave. I can't take credit for that. Uh, Carla Ma's in the chat right now. She let me know. Oh. Okay. I was going to say, just yeah. like Dave, he didn't explain to me what I was doing wrong. He let me make the mistakes, and then I improved from there through failure. Exactly. <laughs> just like me. I, I was allowed to make my errors until the chat room corrected me otherwise. Precisely. And what are you without your And that's chat what's room? so good about At Home with James is it's, it's a learning environment where everyone's free to fail and free to succeed, you know? That's the environment so that you fostered, James. Well, you know, oh, I'd like to wish you a happy birthday tonight. Well, thank you. Only uh, two months late, but I appreciate it. Dimitri, thanks so much for being here. Your night of work is almost done. Buddy, I'm, I'm cherishing every moment of it. Dave, happy birthday, and I love you so much. Take it easy, buddy. I appreciate it. Thank you. Mwah. Dave, people love you, man. That feels kind of nice. Yeah, so we've got a very nice audience watching us tonight. I'm sure this is something that you and I would both love to consistently have on this show. So it sounds like we got to lean lean into Dave a little harder. Yeah, maybe we uh, maybe we add my name to the uh, to the show title. Are you going to be here every night? Well, maybe not. Maybe uh, at home with James and sometimes Dave. That's a long title. <laughs> That's true. That's so maybe just title. at home with sometimes Dave. At home, yeah, we'll just take my name out of it <laughs> and name it at home with sometimes Dave. Now, Dave, do you think uh, do you think you have anyone watching tonight who wouldn't otherwise be watching because they're here to celebrate you, buddy? Uh, well, my wife is watching. Mm -hmm. I think, unless she fell asleep mm -hmm. uh, during Mark's segment. Uh, <laughs> well, it was tough not to. <laughs> yeah, my parents. I think, and I don't know who else is watching. I posted it on Facebook, so. Yeah, which is Never rare, know. you know, for someone who wants to have his name in the show, he didn't really do much promo on it. <laughs> That's true. You're I right. guess we've, we've both got some improvements to make, Dave. Yeah. 
and I'm willing to do it. Well, look, Dave, if you're willing to try, <laughs> well, I don't know how far I want to go with that, but, uh, everyone has been here tonight to celebrate you, to wish you a happy birthday. Mark was here. He wished you a happy birthday live. He wished it over video. Dimitri wished you a happy birthday along with his song. Even your parents wished you a happy birthday. A number of people in the chat room wished you a happy birthday. I wished you a happy birthday. But there's one more person who wants to wish you a happy birthday. So we're going to throw to this right now. Dave, happy birthday, buddy. Hello, Dave. This is William Hung from American Idol. And I want to wish you a happy birthday. I heard that you're an aspiring improv comedian, so don't give up your dreams and keep chasing, and you will eventually make it. You have a lot of potential. So here's a special song for you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Dave. Happy birthday to you. Woohoo! So, Dave, you got to let me know. How do you know William Hung? Wow. <laughs> James, I'm so touched. <laughs> well, don't don't tell me. I want to know. I didn't even know you had a relationship with William Hung. Well, you know, I'm a huge fan. Yeah. From Idol. You know, I used to yeah. be a big Idol head. Yeah. What was his big his big cover? <laughs> uh, he was known for She Bangs. Uh, the, the Ricky Martin song. The Ricky Martin song, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, he sort of uh, became popular through that song, and he had a few other hits. Yeah. You know, he's a talented guy, and uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just I'm purely a fan. You know, I've reached out to him through his fan club a couple of times, and uh, he's uh, yeah. he's a gracious uh, a gracious artist, and uh, and uh, we've connected a little bit that way. You know. Yeah. But. Uh, um, yeah, so I'm just I'm honored that uh, that he uh, sent me such a nice message yeah, and he, a song. I yeah, mean, telling you to tell you to chase your dreams of being an improv comedian. Yeah, all the way to the top of the improv comedy Canadian scene. Yeah, well, I don't think he mentioned anything about the Canadian scene. I think he wants That's you to true. aim high, higher and higher. So he's. I think he, he has mentioned before that I should move to Los Angeles. Well, yeah, you know, anything can happen once once COVID-19 starts to wear itself out. I'm I'm fully prepared for you to, you know, move on to bigger and better things. And that's why we probably shouldn't add your name to the title, because if you're going to leave, you got to change it back again, you know? That's true. You're right. You've convinced me, James. So, so I might Dave, blow up well, beyond this show. Yeah, beyond, yeah well, because I, I not only does William Hung – believe in you i believe in you too now now dave we've only got a few minutes left is there anything the floor is yours that you would like to say this evening um i mean i i didn't uh, prepare anything neither uh, did i but throw to the video dimitri <laughs> no no um there is no video uh yeah i don't know thanks a lot james i appreciate it you know it's always a pleasure to to do this show thank you to all the uh the dudes you had on. <laughs> I appreciate that a lot. I don't know. It's just very nice. I don't really have a, too much to say beyond that. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you just want to watch me talk while you sip your water? You said you'd be a good host. <laughs> this is a shit test? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, I really appreciate it. You know, it's it's uh, it's not every day you turn uh, twenty one, and um, <laughs> it's a very special birthday for me. And uh, it's nice to be among friends, even in such dire circumstances. And I'm also mm -hmm. among my family because I'm coming to you live from my place. So uh, I don't know. It's very special, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I just uh, really appreciate it. That's all. So well, Dave, I, I of course want to say that I. In addition to everything that you do for the show and everything that you've done, whether it's uh, tech, put things to get. Looks like I'm getting a call here. Oh, well, uh, you should probably take that, James. Look at this. Somebody else wants to wish you a, a, a happy birthday. It's uh, Carla Ma. Oh. Hello? Hi, Carla. James? Yeah, yeah, this is James. 
Oh, don't you remember? You told me that you were too busy working on something with Ray Lynn to be on the show. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That was about two minutes before the show started, and oh, Dimitri had already right, formatted right. everything. Okay, okay, okay. But let's not well, make this uh, about you and me. What? Let's not make this about you and I. No, no, no. It's, it's not about you and I. No, no, no. We'll address that later. But I would like to say a very happy birthday to Dave Kaufman. Oh, my gosh. I love Dave. He's the best. Like, seriously. We are so lucky to have Dave in our lives. I'm so lucky to have met Dave and, like, oh, my gosh. Like, I oh, I told you before, I miss Dave so much. We don't get to see each other anymore because he split us all up on separate days. And then, and then I think he started pitting us against each other, all us texts. I don't know what that's about. <sighs> but anyways, <laughs> oh, my gosh. What? What a beautiful time. Well, today is the birthday eve but at midnight. I I'm going to, you know, give a right right righteous toast to you, dude, because <laughs> what is the drugs are very inviting, dude. Yeah. So you're saying that you're going to do some drugs in Dave's honor. Mhm. Mm yeah, what? I'm going to do all the drugs in Dave's honor. Awesome. Well, Carla, any any final uh, words that you want to? Thank you, Carla. I just want to say that's very nice of you. I I appreciate that. Uh, uh, you're the best. It's so nice that we got to know each other over uh, over COVID. It's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. And I didn't even know we're the same star sign. That's wild. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Carla, yeah. don't talk about astrology to Dave. He thinks it's a farce. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't have said that in the, <laughs> <laughs> the middle of. Can I, Carla, can I, he, Dave told me a couple weeks ago that <laughs> if he was dating someone who was into astrology, it would be a deal breaker. <laughs> but I would remain friends with anyone who was uh, into astrology. You know why? Why is that, Carla? Because then Molly wouldn't exist and Molly is everything. Right, so Molly being my daughter, who is yeah. So uh, Dave, if it wasn't for astrology, your daughter doesn't exist. Well, then I take no, back no, everything no. I said. The fact that he didn't date anybody who was into astrology. Right. Okay. Yeah, so because your wife isn't isn't wrong, isn't into astrology, you now yeah. have a daughter. But now I understand. That was my I yeah. pulled I pulled a boner. Yeah, you pulled a boner. Well, Carla, thanks so much for calling in. And uh, who knows, maybe one of these days you and Dave will appear on the same show. I would love that. Well, you know what? Maybe At we'll make it. Dave and Carla. And you no know, longer Dave. But you know, Carla, we might be able to make that happen next Wednesday when it's Carla Ma's birthday bash no, right here me. live it's on Twitch. About, it's not about this. That, you don't have to mention that now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You're... Nice talking to you. Happy birthday, Dave. Thank you. So, Dave, as I was saying, I, of course, want to thank you for all of the great work that you do on the show. But moreover, I want to thank you for your friendship. I'm so grateful that we get to live so close to each other. You and I took a lovely walk earlier today. I bought you a coffee. It was great. Thank you. I appreciate it. But I got to tell you, there's more gifts coming your way. Oh. There's more gifts coming your way, maybe as early as tomorrow from your old pal, the gym bag. Really? Is there a, is there any uh, hint we can give the audience as to what oh, it might be? No, 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 no. It's a surprise. Not even a little uh, little taste, a little teaser. No. Tune into next episode, and we'll you'll find out what the gift is. Well, next time you're here, we can absolutely discuss what the gift is for sure. Well, there you go, everybody. You're gonna have to tune in to the At Home with James show, Dave, and also regularly. And I really, out. I truly do want to want to thank you for everything. Uh, everything that you do on the show is so very, very, very helpful and uh, I don't I don't think I would be doing the show anymore if it uh, if it if it meant that we weren't collaborating on it I think I would have let this fall by the wayside a long time ago and I think uh, that coming out of this because frankly for me I think COVID has been kind of a great time creatively hope that's not a controversial opinion but I do I do feel that uh, we've uh, just begun to scratch the surface as two people that can collaborate with each other comedically despite having no chemistry for so long i think that we've really found ourselves on the same page and i'm excited to see what we can not only find as uh 
collaborators with each other, but uh, pals moving forward, man. I really appreciate you, Dave. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate you. It's been my pleasure being on the show, uh, working on it. So Classic uh, Dave, yeah. just trying to sneak his way out of emotion <laughs> with a little funny voice. Yeah. You know me. I'm a wall. Yeah. Uh, that is impenetrable. Yeah, but you uh, know what? Even the Berlin Wall came down. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Uh, by uh, Mr. Gorbachev. Which was also one of your Facebook statuses <laughs> that I opted not to use. It yeah. would have been would have been so, apropos. It's also a new character I'm doing, Mr. Gorbachev. So Ronald Reagan is the character. Or uh, that's what he's the one who told him to tear the wall down. Yeah, but 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 I'm saying I'd be hitting him, not Reagan. Well, things were ending on a nice note, Dave. Here's the deal, man. You're gonna close this one out. All right. Uh, starting now. All right. Uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, it's been a pleasure uh, having you all here. Uh, happy birthday to Dave Kaufman. That's me. Uh, and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I am you. You are me. We are all each other because we're all made of stardust. Have a good night and good luck in the future. Bye. Yeah.